one thing that happened with him is like he will throw up. He will eat something and, and he eat it and he enjoy it. And then it will be like 10, 15 minutes, he will throw up. When when he decided to do your program, we said, well, we got to support him 110%. And, and then we also help ourselves by doing that too. So uh, definitely we're happy, you know. They're one you keep to be sick. That's something as a father that you don't want to happen to nobody. And then, then once he starts feeling and doing better, we, we say, okay, we found the solution. We did it ourselves. You know, we do understand that if it's an emergency, the doctors are the best. But the body is the one that always heals itself. You know, so it's we have that yeah. and we see it. So it, it's so simple that it's hard for people to understand. So now we get it. And then that's a simple answer to complicated issues. So, oh, yeah. How can we solve that like, through you guys? Amari uh, sent me uh, his meals every single day, and, and I have them all backed up on Skype as well, which is awesome. So, I'll flick, a, flick through some of the food that he was eating. And so, you can see that, you know, his diet was uh, quite restricted at the start, but then slowly, slowly, we expanded slowly and, and really allowed his body to to transform and enjoy these foods and we gave him different recipes and, and different ways to make the food and then he started coming up with his own recipes and it was amazing to see how he was able to embrace this lifestyle and uh, you know you guys as well supporting him uh, through this process was amazing and, and buying the food for him to then be able to cook you can see his before and after picture uh, when he was healing and and uh, what is his um, body is like now and you've, you've gained weight as well so talk, talk about what your life is like now I guess and um, are you restricted in any way with the food that you eat and uh, how do you feel uh, do you enjoy your life a lot more now uh, mentally how do you feel as well so talk about some of the experiences you're, you're facing now mm -hmm. so yeah definitely after healing you know I just appreciate everything much better and I, like, I feel much better. I can do everything like without like having this thoughts on my head that, oh, I can't eat that, oh, I can't. Now I can just eat all types of plant foods, all, like not restricting myself, eating as much as I can, you know, and really feeling feeling good every time after I, after I eat them. Because before I would feel terrible after eating anything, even if it was good. And uh, just every, like after healing, I just appreciate everything more, you know. Hey guys, welcome to another video. We have the lovely Amari here who is going to share his story with us on how he was able to overcome his Crohn's disease on a plant-based diet. Now, this is a really inspir inspiring story and we have his lovely uh, parents here with us as well who are going to share their point of view. Um, but let's, let's start off with Amari. Um, what was your life like before and what was your life like when you got diagnosed what sort of symptoms uh, were you having and uh, talk us through your experience with the doctor um, and obviously the solutions they had for you and what you did about them that mm -hmm. so yeah before i was in really in like really bad condition you know i was really underweight i was 135 pounds and six one wow. and uh I always had abdominal pain every day. Like um, every time I ate something, it would hurt. Um, I was constipated all the time. I would go to the bathroom every two to three days. And um, I had really bad hemorrhoids. I had really, really low energy. So then I went to a GI and, uh, and the GI told me I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed with uh, Crohn's disease. So, and then he just put me on Remicade, the infliximab. So yeah, and it didn't really do much, but it did um, get, get me a little bit better in terms of the pain, but I really never felt healed when I was in the medication and uh, just never felt good and like truly feel that I was healed. Yeah, right. And, and so when, when you were on these medications, you obviously, I didn't like the side effects of these medications either. So talk us through about kind of like what your thoughts were on, on these meds and 
Um, I guess, what else did the doctor say? Did the doctor say anything about diet at all uh, to help you with this condition? Um, no, I, I, I asked him that question, if diet has to do anything, but he would always say no. I think it's just hereditary or it's just um, from the environment. He never really mentioned diet. And he also mentioned that I had to be on this medication for the rest of my life, which was how, like- How did you feel? Shocked. Like, I really felt like, really sad and like that i had to be on medication to feel normal and uh, mm. you know that didn't, didn't really sound right to me which is why i went on to study like ed educate myself on on really truly healing yeah right so let, let's talk about that so what when you were on these meds uh, and your symptoms weren't so much better i think you said that they did improve a little bit where the pain was a bit less but you were going to the toilet maybe once every three or four days, if I can remember, and you were constipated still quite a bit. And um, like, what made you go and do some more research and what made you kind of go, right, well, I, I don't want to live like this. Yeah, so uh, like I was in a really bad situation, like everything about my life like was needed improvement. So I said, you know what? This doesn't feel right. Like I have to be on this for the rest of my life. And uh, so I really just went on hard studying every day, like three to four hours, just looking up at people that can help me, looking at information that, that could help me and just really trying to improve every day and learning something new. Yeah, no, I, I would like to say on that, that, you know, it's part of his character. He's um educated, good student. And then when, when he was going through all these in to the disease, he was still um, studying, getting good grades and he is uh, he compete uh, playing soccer. So he was, even though he was losing weight and going through all this pain, he got a great heart and he never quit. So he's a very smart guy and he started doing his research and seeing options and then now, uh, and then he, he saw, even though we had a, a meeting with the director of the gastroenterology of the, um, the Miami Children Hospital, and she informed us of this Crohn's disease and, and it's happening too much in Florida. And then they, they were talking about us that he had to be on this medication so he can extend his life to get to 40, 50. And, and it was choking for us to find out, you know, as a, such a young age with a lot of aspiration for the future that we have to go through all these things, you know. There was a lot of confusion too because he was complaining of some symptoms that were on his stomach and one of the gastro focused on the hemorrhoids. So it was all about that. And, and then we were asking, we think it's something else or more complication. So after the day we have a, uh, that's, uh, what is it that they endoscopy endoscopy and colonoscopy colonoscopy that we actually saw part of the problem and uh and that's when he got admitted at the hospital and had to stay there for two days for the yeah. HM and MRI MRIs with you know with ink to see the contrast of what's going on yeah yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was shocking for us because he's uh, always been in sport, very smart guy. And then slowly this came out of the blue. But, you know, I'm very proud of him because he also looked for a solution to his own problem. And he's teaching us how to be better. So we're very happy. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. And I think just to kind of let the, the audience know that Amari, when he first joined the program, he was he's 16 years old. He's 17 now. But at such a young age for you to be able to take control of your health, research and understand what is the best for your health is, is remarkable. And I really have to hand it to you that, you know, when I was 16 years old, I was not thinking about the things that you are now and you are growing so fast and you're so mature for your age. And it's you, your parents must be so proud of you because of how you've yeah. really taken this on and, you know, not, it's not, you know, common for a 16 year old to be eating so healthy at this young age, but you realize that if I'm supposed to be healthy, then I have to eat these foods. And, you know, that's just remarkable. And, and both your, your parents should be really proud of you. And uh, it's great that, you know, you guys are also getting into this and 
um, you know, helping Amari and, and not only helping him, but helping yourselves on top of that, which is amazing, uh, nonetheless. So let's talk about um, the GI doctor then. So the, the solutions uh, that he gave you and what did you do next? So after the research, um, what did you guys do? Um, how did you find out about high carb health? And, um, you know, what made you uh, join uh, or have the first consultation with me? Okay, so um, while I was on medication, I was doing tons of studying, looking up uh, YouTube a lot, and then I came across one of you, what your story, and then like really inspired me that, you know, if he can do this, which is like way worse than what I, in my case, then I can do it. And it, I just really, from then on, I just started looking at all your videos, like really informing myself on like what to eat, how to think, how to sleep, how, to, how much water I have to drink every day. Like looking at all components of my life to improve so I, that I can have the best like surroundings to heal myself. And then for us, he, um, he had the first um, Remike treatment and then he went to the second <laughs> one. And at some point there when he was, uh, yeah trying the new options, he consulted with us and said, hey, listen, yeah. I would like to do this and I think I can get out of the medication. And then we are, we struggle a little bit yeah. because we had, like everybody else, the notion, you know, medicine is designed to help. But as we understand, when when your point of view is a holistic event, you know, whatever you put in is whatever is gonna come out better. So we did that consultation. They actually give us a prescription for Humera, which is still in the freezer and we haven't used it. And then uh, and we, he came with the plan and then he asked us to join you so you can assist us to help him get better. And I said, 110% agree with him. And then we started to see the result and his motivation and he came, you know, now to the point that we're cultivating our microgreens in my garage. We got a moringa plant over here. We got another place that we plant some uh, green leaves, Papaya. papayas in the backyard, <laughs> onion, turmeric, ginger. And I like it. It's a therapy for me. So we're having fun in his journey. Yeah, and that's it's just remarkable. I mean, being a catalyst for change and, and changing your whole family. And I, I do think that these uh, these situations are a blessing for not, you know, for ourselves, but so many others. And, uh, you know, for my journey and for, for the whole the whole reason why we started this YouTube channel was to share uh, experiences and shared other people's journey uh, to health. And for me to share my own journey and have inspiration and, and to inspire you to then speak about your journey is exactly what we set this up for and I think more people the more people what that watch this the more people will be inclined to change their lifestyle and change their their diet for one and I think that's what's really key here and it's so important to to spread this message of of plant-based eating because we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables these days you know we're we're going towards more meats and dairy and processed foods, unfortunately, and not realizing that our health is the most valuable asset that we have. And if we do not take care of our bodies, we're going to get sick. And, uh, you know, Amari is a great example for you guys. And, uh, you know, he's been able to take control of that, which is amazing. So once you found us, I guess, um, why did you choose us? specifically i mean there's quite a few people out there why did you choose us so i came across all types of diets and people telling me different things and then you know people were telling me oh i have to drink raw milk i have to drink uh you know protein to heal and everything but when i came across you like everything just made sense like everything seemed right you know like i definitely knew that like before like plants are definitely healthy fruits and vegetables heal so I just had that idea in my head and I knew that this was going to work. I knew this was the path I needed to take to heal. And we have seen a, a movie, it's uh, Fork versus Knife, which Fork is uh, knives, yeah, yeah. I kind of talk about that story. And then they, that was an inspiring story too. People are waiting to get heart surgery and they went on a raw plant base and some of them yeah. didn't have to do it. Yeah. And then his son, he got the other one, that engine to fire, which is, they talk about some of that. And then we were moving in that direction a little bit, but you know, it's, it's 
this misconcept that we got through through life like they were totally opposite you know like milk is good for your bones it's totally the opposite and, and so far you know we're learning with him which like they say you're you're never too old to learn <laughs> so it, it's still a, a good thing so yeah yeah definitely um, it's it's amazing it's really amazing that you guys have been able to do this as well and uh, it's 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 uh, i can't describe it in words how when someone is is changing or when you're changing your own lifestyle as well for the better uh it has such a big effect you know not only on yourself but the environment uh, and other people around you as well so it's fantastic and all right so talk, talk about the program itself so amari joined for three months and um it's been an amazing journey and to see how fast he has been able to heal and, and reduce if not have no symptoms of crohn's disease at all uh, in such a short period of time is is absolutely fantastic to see. And it's because he's so dedicated and understands what health is about. And uh, let's talk about that, man. So um, when you first started with us, uh, how was it? How was the coaching? And, and how did you find uh, the meetings? And, and um, go th yeah, we'll go through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the meetings, you know, shamans would go over everything, you know, like, keep me on point with everything I had to do, like keeping my um, my calories on the chronometer and uh, taking pictures of everything I eat to keep me on track. And it really helped, like, you know, at first it was hard to eat and everything, but as soon as I like progressed, I was able to eat more, enjoy the foods, like really, like before I wouldn't enjoy these foods, but now that I was on the program, I was enjoying everything. Just being really grateful from, for the food that I was being given by my parents and that these, these opportunities to heal. And uh, yeah, the program really helped me. Your guidance, like I couldn't have done this without my, like with uh, myself. And that. And one thing that, that we're very grateful is that as he was going through it and then you find, you know, oh yeah, my skin is doing this and that. And then you guys explain what was the process behind it? And that's happening because your body is it's sending all the toxin out and you should be getting to this stage now and do this. And, and he was like, you know, he, he get feedback right away of, of the stage that he was and, and what he should be seeing and what should be happening. And then you guys ensure him that you're on the right track. For me, that's a blessing, you know, because encourage him to be better and, and he did feel better and so he said oh it's working so he get uh, positive feedback all the time all the time so thank you we appreciate that no worries no worries and that's that's what i'm here for so i really uh, do want to encourage and motivate you because you know it happened for myself as well and i realized that you know this this way of life and this food uh gives our body the ability to heal itself and it's 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 a miracle you know i mean i'm it's it's normal for this to happen but we we see this as a miracle because you know it doesn't happen often enough and i think you know the more and more people that get better through plant-based eating it's it's not going to be a miracle anymore it's going to be common to see people change their lives just like yourself you know and um you know i think it's it's an amazing achievement so amari sent me uh his meals every single day and and i have them all backed up on skype as well which is awesome so i'll flick up flip through some of the food that he was eating and so you can see that you know his diet was uh quite restricted at the start but then slowly slowly we expanded slowly and and really allowed his body to to transform and enjoy these foods and we gave him different recipes and, and different ways to make the food and then he started coming up with his own recipes and it was amazing to see how he was able to embrace this lifestyle and uh you know you guys as well supporting him uh through this process was amazing and and buying the food for him to then be able to cook and uh you know he's seeing the the results firsthand and, and when you see the body transform it gives you more confidence to keep going i think that's one of the the main reasons why, you know, Murray still uh, stuck to it and uh, saw the re results. Obviously, it did get a little bit hard for you initially, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you came out of that lull and uh, you felt better and better every day. I think there was a point where you were feeling really tired and, and uh, didn't, you know, had some brain fog. But once that cleared, I think you felt really good. And then it was just smooth sailing um, 
from there. Uh, and do you want to just talk about uh, your football as well? Because you're you're quite um, you know athletic and uh, you love sports. So talk about what it was like before when you had this condition or when you couldn't you know when you had digestive issues. What was it like when you were playing uh, football and and uh, how, how what's the difference now? Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely before it felt like I had a weight on my chest and I, I couldn't run as fast as I could. I couldn't train as much as I could. You know, I could, I, I don't know. Overall, my performances weren't as good as before, you know, like everything was dropping. Like, um, I couldn't play well. I couldn't do anything well. So yeah. And then <clears throat> right after I healed, like I, I've never felt this good before. I can train as much as I can. You know, I don't feel as sore. I can just run as much as I can. And then just, I just felt much, much better than before. Yeah, cool. And so during the healing process, obviously, we kind of uh, took a break too. So um, I told him not to go and exercise, not to, to um, go and train as much or, you know, take it easy so that his body could do the healing work and a lot of rest, um, which also helped when you, were, when you were going through this. So it was important that you, you had that rest and ability to, to give your body a break too. So that's another reason why your body came out of it so quick as well, because you're, you know, you gave your body time and patience to kind of come through. And uh, it's, yeah, it's amazing how now you're, you know, fully fit and going uh, so well and, and uh, you're only going to keep getting better because, you know, you've just started, uh, you're only 17 and uh, there's so much, so many amazing things to look forward to from here on in. And, and I believe you're, you know, working out a little bit more as well. And, uh, you know, you can see his before and after picture uh, when he was healing and, and uh, what his, his um, body is like now. And you've, you've gained weight as well. So talk, talk about what your life is like now, I guess. And um, are you restricted in any way with the food that you eat? And uh, how do you feel? Uh, do you enjoy your life a lot more now uh, mentally? How do you feel as well? So talk about some of the experiences you're, you're facing now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely after healing, you know, I just appreciate everything much better. And I like, I feel much better. I can do everything like without like having this thoughts on my head that, oh, I can't eat that. Oh, I can't. Now I can just eat all types of plant foods. Oh, like not restricting myself, eating as much as I can, you know. And really feeling feeling good every time after I after I eat them because before I would feel terrible after eating anything even if it was good, and uh, just every uh, like after healing I just appreciate everything more now. Yeah, and what, what what about your experience your your experience guys your dad's experience and um, how you guys have been able to also change your lifestyle and how do you how are you feeling now? Okay. Yeah, I feel much better. It's um. Also, I, I see the change um, that he's been doing. I also been losing some weight through the process, so some weight, which is a good thing for me. And then he didn't say, but he he was training before this meeting with you. So he was uh, at the garage. We got like a little gym and went over there working out. And then he said he's he's working out every day. And I see it on the field. He's improving. You know, he's um playing very smart too, which is a good thing. Fantastic. Uh, Fantastic. So, so sorry, sorry, He's he goes there and he, that's the sport that he loves and he's running the field chasing up all up and down and he's having fun and he enjoys it. Yeah. I'm happy to see him run like that too. So yeah, I enjoy exactly, it. Too. Exactly. Yeah. So so let, let's just compare. So when uh, maybe three or four months ago before when he was really sick to now how, how is this transformation is it uh, you guys really really happy for him yeah it's a big time transformation he didn't mention also that before even though we tried to eat some certain things that we thought they were good one thing that happened with him is like he will throw up he will eat something and, and he eat it and he enjoy it and then it will be like 10 15 minutes he will throw up and then he, he started losing weight. Even though he was losing weight, you know, he kept driving on the things that he liked because at, at that time, his school, they became state champs. So they, he played at a com competitive level and, it, and he did it. Plus he played in the school and he played in, in a club, in a private club. So he was all that, adding extra stress to the, his condition. So he got to the point that, you know, his body shut down. 
And then mm. it took us a, a surprise because we never expect, you know, especially you never expect your kids to go through anything like that. And then uh, uh, we tried to do our best to give him what we thought was the best treatment, which is go with the gastroenterology. But, and then he come, we, we were not also satisfied with the answer that we got from, from the director of the gastro. It's like, a, we had specific questions like, what caused that? Oh, we don't know, it's happening here. And it was like a around the world answer. And I said, we need to know what is it so we can try to fix it. And then, and then as we, he started doing the research and sharing the information with us, we agree because we have seen other people have turned into plant-based and, and that helped them too. So we were slowly moving in that direction, but when, when he decided to do your program, we said, well, we gotta support him 110%. And, and then we also help ourselves by doing that too. So. Uh, definitely, we're, we're happy, you know. You never want your kid to be sick. That's something as a father that you don't want to happen to nobody. And then and once he starts feeling and doing better, we, we say, okay, we found the solution. We did it ourselves. You know, we do understand that if it's an emergency, the doctors are the best. But the body is the one that always heals itself, you know. So... We have that yeah. and we see it. So it's, it's so simple that it's hard for people to understand. So now we get it. And then that's a simple answer to complicate the issue. So yeah, yeah. We saw that like, through you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so inspiring, guys. I really, really am so happy for you guys. And uh, it's it's so so great to see how you've taken this on board. You've seen the results and you're going to continue doing this for the rest of your lives. You know, it's like no looking back now, you know, and, and that's what's really amazing. So what do you have any advice for anyone that's watching? What would you say to them? So, yeah, um, you know, there's a part of healing that like most people ignore. And it's just definitely like your mind, like you're controlling your thoughts and surrounding yourself with positive thoughts, positive people. So that you're in the best environment to like heal as fast as possible and you know and managing your stress because every time i felt stressed it would always get worse like you know and just controlling your stress like made a huge difference in, in my healing and why and why i was able to heal so quickly so yeah i don't know it's like uh you don't have to be sick to get on this program you know what i mean it's, it's a it's a way to improve yourself and it, once you get into it and then um, you start accepting the fact that it worked for you. It, it's a great adventure, like you say. It's a journey. Now we're planning. Oh yeah, we're gonna plan. We we like to plan some potatoes and jams and whatever. And then we got a plan to do it. Like you will get every month, you get some of it. And it's like, and, and that's another satisfying thing. If you eat something that you plant yourself, it even tastes better. You know, it's and. And then see the combination and try to do some recipes of stuff that we used to eat before and, and do it in plant based. My wife is, is awesome at that. Yeah. Like, we do um, uh, Jan's taco, make the taco yeah. like it look like it's like look like tacos. And yeah, know it. it's a uh, so my advice is simple you don't have to be sick to learn how to eat better, and your body has the ability to heal himself. You just gotta help it get there. And then if you get those two things, you will have a beautiful life. That's fantastic. Well said, well said. So yeah, well, thank you so much for sharing your journey, guys. It's really, really inspiring. I'm, I'm sure someone uh, your age might be struggling as well. And uh, you know, they can do something about this as well in their own lives. And uh, not only have you inspired me, you've inspired my brother, and you've inspired everyone who watches this video. So thank you so much for coming and sharing your journey. Um, you know, I wish you guys all the best. You've, you've done such an amazing job. Crohn's disease is not uh, something to look down on. I mean, it's, it's a serious condition and you guys have really just gotten rid of it. And uh, you know, you'll stay this way if you do all the right things and, and you're not on any medications now, which is fantastic. And that's the goal obviously for people that uh, you know want to get healthy and fit and uh, 
you know, good on you for doing the research that uh, is not told to us. And, uh, you know, we, we all need some kind of, you know, go forward to, to get better. And this was your blessing, go forward, whatever you want to call it. And you're now reaping the benefits of a whole food plant-based diet. You're not only preventing yourself from uh, digestive conditions, but you're healing, your, you know, preventing heart disease, diabetes, cancer, stroke, all these uh, lifestyle diseases. So it's, um, you know, it's a win for your health. It's a win for the environment and it's a win for obviously the animals as well. So well done guys, uh, really proud of you. And uh, yeah, if you, any last words, go for it. No, thank you. Yeah. We'd like to thank you. You help us got he get here and we appreciate it. Thank you. No worries guys, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.